in a Manhattan rehearsal hall, Jennifer Hudson is preparing for one of the biggest roles of her career. The part of Shug Avery in the revival of the musical The Color Purple. The 34-year-old singer has won an Oscar and a Grammy, but her last theatrical role was on a Disney cruise ship more than a decade ago. So this is your first Broadway show. Uh, Have you been in the theater yet? No, this is my first time. Last month, she made her first visit to the stage at the Bernard Jacobs Theater. It's funny, the stage, when you're up here, doesn't look that big. No, <laughs> and that too, and you sit and think like, wow, all of that is gonna happen on this little stage? Yeah. It's so exciting. I want to sing it here right now. <laughs> Go ahead, like, we won't oh. stop you. <laughs> Previews for The Color Purple began this past week. Hudson opens on Broadway next month. And here you are. Wow. Nice? It's so nice. First trip to New York yeah. was when I was coming to do the news for being eliminated from America Idol. Right. And then to fast forward all the way here now, it's like full circle in so many different ways. She was 22 when she made the finals of American Idol in 2004. It was before her dramatic weight loss, and judges criticized her wardrobe. She finished seventh. You emerged from that unscathed, <laughs> or not? Yes. I did, but it gives you tough skin. So I kept going with it. It's like, well, they can tell me I can't sing on the show, but you can't tell me I can't sing. You don't need me. All you care about is her bony ass. Two years later, she beat out more than 700 oh, other what? actresses to win the role of Effie White in Dreamgirls. I didn't think so. The lead singer of a girl group who's replaced by a more camera-ready rival. Now you listen to me, Miss Blame It on the World. In her See, first film, she starred opposite Beyonce and Jamie Foxx. You're walking into a film role with a pretty imposing cast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and you've never acted before. No. And I'm sitting here right in between them, and I'm like, oh, my God. And it's like, you know what? They had a first start, too. They had to start somewhere. I love y'all, but this is my first start. Excuse me. <laughs> I got a job to do. <laughs> I don't want to be free. And she did it. Her performance of And I'm Telling You I'm Not Going in her climactic scene became an immediate film classic. It was the very last scene film, and I swear they wrapped the chairs, they wrapped the extras, and I was the only thing left. You're gonna lie. Every tear I cried in that scene was a real tear. Mm -hmm. It came from somewhere, and I was like, put it in this moment. It earned Hudson an armful of hardware. This is the American Oscar, and this is the British Oscar. You want to hold them? They're so heavy. <laughs> the awards no, live in the home she shares with her longtime fiance, wrestler David Otunga, and their son, David Jr., in the suburbs of Chicago. I feel like this keeps me grounded, centered, definitely. Growing up on Chicago's South Side, the center of life for Hudson was the Pleasant Gift Baptist Church. Was this the first place you sang publicly? Oh, yes, definitely. From the beginning, her family knew she had a gift. You know what? I stood right there and I sang, <laughs> I sang, Must Jesus Bear the Cross Along. Uh -huh. And you were how old? I was like seven. Hudson's maternal grandmother, Julia, who was a church soloist, was also her coach. She used to sing a solo called, what kind of man is this? Oh, he looks, he looks like Jesus. And she used to make these faces, and as kids, we used to sit and laugh. <laughs> She's very expressive. You hear her sometimes in your own voice. Yeah. When you hear her coming out of you. It's chilling. Is it? Yeah. It was something, like, special, like we treasured her gift, mm -hmm. you know? I was just singing, singing the other day, know that there's a God above. When I say a God, that's how she would have phrased it. Hudson's voice, arguably the best of her generation, won her a Grammy for her debut album in 2008. 
But the honor that year would be eclipsed by a violent family tragedy. When her mother, Darnell, her 29-year-old brother, Jason, and her seven-year-old nephew, Julian King, were all murdered by her sister's estranged husband. How do you even begin to process that? I don't think you can. It's one of those things where it comes in flashes. And what do you do when it comes? I try to allow myself to l let it do, be, bring, whatever it brings. Mm -hmm. Because it's too much. And when it's more than one person, you don't know who to grieve for first. Yeah. Or how. So when it comes, it comes. Do you still have conversations with your mom in your head? All the time. Right. Now, and my brother, if he was here, if I was sitting up crying, he'll say, Jenny, knock it off. Knock it off. You strike me in some ways as pretty fearless about certain things. I hear that often, I don't know why. You do? Yeah. But how did you get through the trial that year? <sighs> that, I think, was the toughest thing ever. She testified and went to court every day. I remember God came to me, like right when everything happened. And he was like, because I was like, what do I do? Mm -hmm. And he said, I want you to get up and keep going. And you don't question God. I said, OK, let's go. She set up a charity in her nephew's name with her sister, Julia, to provide school supplies to Chicago kids. I'm a Chicagoan. And next month, Hudson will star in Chirac, Spike Lee's new film about violence in Chicago. Y'all, we got to stop. We got to stop the killer. I play a mother who has a slain little girl that was caught in a, a stray bullet going to school. This is very personal for her. And you can see it when, when she was for the camera. On the set, so Lee applauded her courage in taking the part. I know it was rough. Thank you. It's been a notable year for Jennifer Hudson. A new film, a Broadway debut, and a performance at a service for Pope Francis at Madison Square Garden. I couldn't help but to think about my mom, my grandmother, my church family, all my family, like, wow. It's definitely one of those moments where it's like, you wished they were there. That's pretty cool. It's so cool. But it's so interesting because I feel like the energies of everyone that... Here. Yeah, it's, it's overwhelming almost like... It's a good feeling though. It does. It's a great feeling. Yeah. Yep, this is home.